In the given equation, k and m are constants. The equation has infinitely many solutions. What is the value of m? So in these infinitely many solution problems, if there's only one letter, like just an m or just a k, you can put this equation in Desmos, put this one separately, add a slider for your extra letter, and you just slide that until your two lines line up. But with an m and a k, all we have to do is put this side in slope intercept form, do the same to this side, and then make an equation for our slopes and an equation for our y intercepts. So on the left, we just have to divide by six. So that's gonna be negative five x plus three plus m over six. And that should be equal to, we can do a little distributing up here and then combine like terms. So this should get us two kx minus k plus x plus four. So I wanna group my like terms together. So I wanna group my x's. So that's gonna be two kx plus that extra x and then minus the k and then plus four. And then we can start with our slopes. So my slope of my first equation is negative five. My slope of my second equation, we have to factor the x out. So if I factor this x out, it's gonna be two k plus one. Because if I would redistribute, I would get two kx plus x, right? So my first equation is negative five is equal to two k plus one because those are my two coefficients in front of our x value. So if I subtract the one, I get negative six is equal to two k or the negative three is equal to k. So that's our start. And then now we just have to do our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is gonna be the constant from this side. So three plus m over six, because m is a constant, and that should be equal to negative k. Well, remember negative, or k is negative three. So that's actually equal to three plus four. Subtract three from both sides, and then m over six is equal to four. So multiply both sides by six, and I should get m is equal to 24, or c for our final answer.